Pro Group Management, workers' comp that works for you. This is 7 at 7 from the Las Vegas Review-Journal. Good morning and thank you for joining us on 7 at 7. I'm Renee Summerauer. We begin with your top stories, sponsored by Nevada Hand's Silver Sky Assisted Living Community. Learn more at nevadahand.org. The Henderson Police Department released details on a police shooting that occurred Friday night on Green Valley Parkway. According to a department press release, officers responded to a disturbance of a 26-year-old man vandalizing the inside of a house while cutting himself with a knife. When the officers arrived, the man was holding the knife in a threatening manner towards officers and threatened a nearby civilian. Police tried to use tasers, but they didn't work, so they shot the man. He was taken to the hospital where he later died. A tarantula on the road contributed to a crash in Death Valley National Park on Saturday. A 24-year-old man was driving a motorcycle when he crashed into the back of a camper van who had braked suddenly to avoid the spider. The man was taken to the hospital with non-life-threatening injuries. The F1 Las Vegas Grand Prix has been upgraded to the second highest security by the Department of Homeland Security. A level two rated event mean it's of significant national and international importance and requires a heightened level of federal security support for the safety of the event. Former President Donald Trump spoke to a packed crowd while in Las Vegas Saturday. Trump is currently under a gag order to not discuss details about his trial in New York, but that didn't stop some of his commentary about the judge overseeing the case. James Schaefer has more from the rally. President Donald Trump rallied to the court this Saturday evening in Las Vegas. He spoke about ongoing trials, the Israeli-Palestinian conflict, and also the recent news of Mike Pence is backing out the race to the White House. Until he indicted me, I never talked this way. Trump criticized his civil fraud trial in New York, accusing the judge of hating the former president and saying the prosecution's witness lied in the case. I have this horrible, horrible racist attorney general in New York. We have a judge that's a Trump hater. We had a guy there, star witness. Did you see? It was like Perry Mason. Did you see? Yes, I lied, he goes. I, I lied. I lied. He's, I said, that's the end of the case, right? The judge says, no, it's not. The judge is going crazy. Now, the gag order is limited to court staff. It does not prevent public comments about the judge and attorney general on the case. For the Las Vegas View Journal, I'm James Schieffer. In weather, sponsored by Star Nursery, your garden's partner for every blooming thing, this weekend's cold front cooled us off even more this week. Sunny but chilly with breezy conditions is in your forecast for today. Today's high is only reaching around 69 degrees. Wind gusts as high as 20 miles per hour in parts of the valley. Tonight, clear skies, lows around 46 degrees. For the rest of the week, we'll warm up starting Tuesday with sunny skies and temps in the low to mid 70s. Calm winds sticking around until about Wednesday. Mostly clear for your evenings with lows in the low 50s. In business news, sponsored by Bank of Nevada Bank on Accountability, Nevada regulators are working to address a policy question that was brought to light this month. New details have emerged in the case involving gambler Ron Wilson and the Casablanca Hotel Casino, which was ordered to pay Wilson his winnings of $2,045.18, despite him trespassing at the property multiple times over the years. For details on how Nevada regulators plan to tackle this issue, log on to lvrj.com forward slash business. The cyber attack that crippled MGM Resorts in September may have taken another financial bite out of Nevada's largest private employer. MGM's licensing agreement with Marriott has been postponed until 2024. The deal, which expects to attract thousands of Marriott customers to MGM properties nationwide, the companies gave no explanation about why the delay is occurring. However, trade publications speculate the delay resulted from the cyber attack. Sports, sponsored by Station Casinos, STN Sports. Download the app today. UNLV had its five-game winning streak snapped Saturday as the Rebels took a 31-24 road loss to Fresno State. This is the first Mountain West loss for the Rebels under head coach Barry Odom, and quarterback Jaden Maiava took his first loss as a starter. The Rebels are now in a three-way tie with Fresno State and Boise State for second place in the conference. 
In health news, sponsored by Boulder City Hospital, we're here for you when you need us. A local breast cancer survivor stresses the importance of screenings. Ann Castillo isn't unfamiliar with challenges that a cancer diagnosis can bring. She now has a particularly powerful reason to encourage all women, and especially Hispanic women, including her own family, to receive timely breast cancer screenings. For more on the importance of breast cancer screenings, log on to lvrj.com forward slash live well. Blue zones, a term coined by a man from National Geographic, are home to some of the highest amounts of 100-year-olds in the world. In his Netflix series, Live to 100, Secrets of the Blue Zones, Dan Bootner takes visitors through each region with lessons about why these specific zones have a high life expectancy. For health tips from the Blue Zone region, visit LVRJ.com. Sports betting, sponsored by Las Vegas Paiute Tribal Smoke and Cigar Shop. The Raiders travel to Detroit to finish off the NFL week on Monday Night Football. The Raiders are 7.5 point underdogs at Station Casinos and the total is 46.5. The Raiders are minus 120 to score over 17.5 points and the Lions are minus 120 to score over 27.5. You can also bet on the first score in the Raiders-Lions game with a touchdown the minus 170 favorite and a field goal or a safety at plus 140. In Entertainment, sponsored by Arizona Charlie's, has live entertainment every weekend at both locations. Go to ArizonaCharlie's.com to see who's playing. Some big stars performed in Las Vegas this weekend, plus more entertainment news. From Review Journal's John Katzlamitas. Ed Sheeran made up for his canceled show at Allegiant Stadium in a big way on Saturday night, inviting Brandon Flowers up on stage in an unbilled appearance. The two duetted on Mr. Brightside, the killer's anthem, and also on Sheeran's Castle on the Hill. Adele had some very warm words about the late Matthew Perry in her show Saturday night at the Coliseum. Also, Hillary Clinton was in the room celebrating her 76th birthday. And Elon Musk said this about the sphere. It's exquisite beyond words. We hope that's not true because we plan on using many more words on that place. Thank you for watching 7 at 7 a.m. If you're watching from YouTube, don't forget to subscribe to the Review Journal's YouTube channel for more great content. Watch Las Vegas breaking news streaming live on your OTT device. We'll see you back here tonight for more 7 at 7. Review Journal Studio, sponsored by Adam Kuttner. Get the maximum settlement as quickly as possible. The 7 at 7 update, sponsored by Pro Group Management. You're watching 7 at 7 from the Las Vegas Review Journal.